Hey guys, welcome back to Bits Be Trippin'. This is your host, Carter. Let's get into this. On today's episode, we're gonna cover the ETH Largement Hash Rate Hardener from an Oh God company. Now, a few other YouTubers have covered this in a pretty good detail regarding the individual results with and without the pill, in addition to a good interview with Christy, one of the developers of the tool itself. Now, I recommend going to watch that video provided by JMS Vlogs for a good history background and how and why the tool went public and some of the rationale of why it's just an incremental release. What I wanna do today though, on our channel is to go more specifically in explaining what the tool is actually accomplishing, not just based on assumptions, but actual confirmation from Christy herself. See, I've had interaction with Christy on other subjects regarding SG Miner back in 2016. Having some basic history with her, I wanted to clarify without causing any legal issues with their tool on what it's actually doing. See, the thing is, oh God, a company actually created a more fully featured version of this for paying customers in the mining scene. And with that came some NDAs. However, they were able to do a community release for higher end consumer grade cards and release this through a Delta release of their memory modification injector. The best way to understand what's going on here is to understand why Ethereum and Etash related algorithm tokens care about memory bandwidth and latency and why people change their memory timing on BIOSes if you have an AMD card to see significant improvements of nearly 20 to 30% in most cases. What the pill is essentially doing is the same exact function but for NVIDIA cards. And in this release for the community, the 1080 and 1080 Ti specifically, since NVIDIA's BIOSes are locked down. Essentially, once the card's engaged with a mining job, the pill tweaks those timings and allows for a more optimal delivery of the hash functions. This results in a significant bump for the cards leveraging the feature. And as tested last night in our own test, the 1080 Ti and my Travel Alienware graphics amplifier worked out without an issue. So bottom line and in closing to keep this video quick, more testing will be done now that the tool is public and a proper live stream would be needed to go through iterations of memory timings. Based on the limited testing that we did last night, showed memory speed is even more critical to dial in. Faster memory speed with this tool doesn't mean faster hashing, as pushing the mem clock to 775 megahertz resulted in 51 mega hash, up from 36 mega hash. However, setting the memory to 705 megahertz resulted in a higher hash rate of 53 mega hash, nearly 54. Now this testing will occur on our Twitch TV channel later this week, as we'll test a range of GTX 1080s and 1080 Ti's to see the net change in optimal configs. Now this is something you're definitely gonna to wanna to tune in for, if possible. Click the description below and get a link to our Twitch channel and give us a follow, that way you know when the live stream will occur. Finally, thanks again for subscribing and adding us to your comments below. And if you can drop a comment, see what your settings are in configs, what works best for you. Again, this is all about growing the community. Cheers and stay tuned.